Hello and welcome back to Heart of the Hole. Today we just thought we'd do a video to see what's been going on at Aston Villa recently because if you haven't noticed we've been a little bit of a mess. Recently we have had the new kit launch for the next season uh, along with the training gear. The training gear came first which uh, seemed to have split the fans opinion. Let's see what you guys thought of it on Twitter. As I say, it seems to have split the fans' decision 50-50. Uh, me personally, I quite like it as it is uh, clearly modelled off the 2009 away kit, I think, which has got to be one of my favourite all-time Villa kits. Uh, I think a few people have been saying it's tacky, it looks cheap, but I think that's probably just the nature of the vibrant colour. Uh, and I'd, I'd, I'd go as far to say as if it had a Nike or Adidas tick on it instead of Luke, you guys would be uh, extremely... Uh, happy with it, so I, I'm I'm quite happy with it. I think Luke has done a, a fantastic job on the training range with the polos, the V-necks, and the jumpers. I'm a big fan. I'll certainly but be buying them. Uh, if they're not to your taste, well, it's fine because you know no, no one's making you buy them. You might see a few around the park, but no one's making you buy them. I think Luke has done a fantastic job with the kit, both home and away. Look extremely smart. I'm a big fan of the uh, of the white away kit personally myself. Uh, I'd like to see how it looks with the name and numbers on the back. <laughs> we'll have to decide to see who we've got in the squad to see who will go on the back of the shirt first though. Uh, it might be a, a good idea to wait to the transfer window close if you guys want to get a name and number on the back. Expect outgoings, especially as the photo shoot didn't actually include any of the players as models. Big fan of the home kit. It's it certainly grown on me. Uh, quite a bit since first seeing it, uh, controversially without the blue arms, but uh, I'm liking the blue panels up the side of the shirt, it gives it a really nice and smart look, uh, almost streamlined as well, uh, obviously it'll look a lot better on the players, depending on who we've got wearing it come this season, yeah, we don't know, the club's a mess. So from the lads from Heart of Heart, in a word, describe to me what you thought of the kit, go. Retro. Stupendous. Slick. Alternative. In other news, director of football Steve Rand had been sacked on the first day of pre-season uh, as soon as he got to the newly renamed Recon Training Ground. Uh, this is a man that used to put cones out for David Moy, so how he was on 300 grand a year, I don't know. Uh, obviously getting rid of him, saving a bit of money, it seems like the correct decision. But you've got to ask the questions. If he's brought in as a director of football, why did, you know, <laughs> there were so many shortcomings of last season, you know, so many games that you can point out and in terms of like QPR, Bolton, games, Norwich even, games like that. And this guy was apparently in charge of scouting and these responsibilities will now fall on Bruce or fall off Bruce because we won't be scouting, scouting or signing absolutely anybody uh, with the financial troubles that we are of course in. Just on Sky Sports, literally just now actually, uh, they've had an exclusive interview with Steve Bruce and he's pretty much confirmed the departure of our beloved Jack Greeley, which is, is terrible but the club has got to do whatever it has to do to stay afloat uh, and Jack probably deserves the move away. Uh, Bruce has said how magnificent it has been working with Jack and and how he wanted to build the team around him at the start of last season. Obviously the injury happened, we didn't see a lot of Jack. Uh, there's definitely better things to come with Jack and I think moving to a, a Tottenham Hotspur, a team that aren't necessarily built around pace um, but players who are skillfully good on the ball technically, Jack's going to thrive uh, and I think he knows if he goes he is doing the absolute best for his career and also the future of our beloved club and his beloved club. We also had a statement released from Dr Tony uh, not so long back, uh, kind of clearing a few rumours up that had been circling around about him not having any money. Um, but main things to take away from this is uh, he has money but we can't access it pretty much. Um, the club will have to sell and we're going to be heavily reliant on the young players and as you can see from the pre-season photos young Mitch Clark, Harry McCurdy, uh, Keenan Davis, Andre Green, Rashawn Hepburn Murphy, Issa Solomon, Jake Clark, Jake Doherz, all pretty much a large amount of our under 23 squad have gone out with pre-season now this is normal practice of course they did last season uh, a few newer faces this time obviously uh, we're going to see them integrated in the first team and it this is what it's come into we're going to have to use what we've got and you know and when Steve Bruce has gone out and bought, spent 15 million on, on Hogan when we've already got Kajo McCormack, we've even now got Davis, we've got so many strikers, you know, we've got we've got very good young talent at our disposal. Obviously the, the question, are they ready? Now we're just gonna have to use what we've got. He's gone out and bought Henry Lansbury, Connor Hurahan, we're now stuck with, with them on massive wages, alongside Gary Gardner and Aaron Tishbola, who he's, you know, threw aside. Now obviously we'll both probably be in contention. 
uh, who's going to sign them. He's going to have to use what he's got. As well, Gabriel Bonhort is also uh, training uh, a lot by the signs, but obviously released by the club. Uh, it looks like he's training a lot more than he was uh, when he was certainly a Villa player. Gabby's probably just waiting for the phone call from Bruce. And of course, our pre-season training camp has begun in Portugal uh, because you want to go out for some warm weather training, but I think your time is a bit wrong, Villa, because it's been very hot in Birmingham. Very hot. Almost as hot as Portugal. And it looks like the financial crisis has hit us that bad that we've haven't been having to resort to using bins as ice baths. Not good stuff, Villa. So despite the constant turmoil and fears of administration, financial crisis, losing our best players, Jack and Chester and all sorts, I am looking forward to next season quite a bit. I think we're going to see an extremely youthful Villa side. Uh, I'm not expecting any any form of playoff push now we're really in the stage where we've got to consolidate uh, make sure that we can stay up and that we can fend off any financial troubles whether that me would be selling Grealish, Chester, Kodja we've got to do what we've got to do to keep this club afloat um, although in an ideal world Jack could stay it's becoming a reality more and more every single day that he is in fact going to leave the club so thank you guys for watching this video we appreciate um, Villa fans being sceptical of news of course, this is just of course our opinions. Um, if you enjoyed this video please like and let us know in the comments down below or if you disagree with anything let us know if you th if you think Jack Grealish will stay or go um, and keep tuned, hopefully we'll have some more content coming out soon. As I say we've got the new site coming up, uh, you can check out our latest video, the Unpopular Opinion video from a few weeks back uh, if you haven't seen it and up the villa.